Oh, hey everybody, it's Dave Kramer, and this is uh, Kramer Unstuck, back with you. And here we are, you know, it's June 1st, 2023, it's 3.48 in the morning, and you know what I didn't start celebrating? Pride Month. I take pride in the fact that I'm white and heterosexual, straight. I'm not cis, I'm a straight white man. I'm not a degenerate scumbag down there in the sewer. Pride? Really? Now, there are some homosexuals or whatever out there that are not, you know, blasting their projectile vomit you know, lifestyle on people. They just want to be left alone. They want to live their life. Fine. I got no problem with you. But the rest of you out there, you got no pride. You're just a bunch of degenerate scumbags who are mentally ill. That's what you are. So, no, I won't be uh, celebrating Pride Month. Uh, I take pride that I'm a hard worker. I'm not rich, but I, I work really hard. I got to work hard to make my money. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm straight. And if you're a, a, a man, I think you should be a heterosexual. That's what you are. It, ma male and female work, okay? You know, male and male and female and female it seems like it works, but that's not normal. You know, I, I'm a, I'm I'm male, but I think I'm female. I'm female, but I think I'm male. That that don't work either. I'm non-binary. That don't work either. I'm I don't know what else. I mean, there, there's so many. I mean. Uh, there's 72 genders, isn't that what they said? 72? No. In, in, in crazy world, there is 72 genders. No, there's only two genders. There's male and female. That's biological. It's science. It works. So, no, I won't be celebrating Pride Month. And another thing I won't be celebrating is uh, Juneteenth for all the black victims out there that need their little day so they can say, you know, be black, be proud. Well, I agree. If you're black and uh, a man or woman and uh, you've got your head on straight and you're based, you, live in a, you, you use logic and critical thinking skills to think through shit instead of just get emotional about it, which is, you know, that's a problem. Most of these people you see online are just emotional. They're pissed off. They hate. You know, they're like, you're a racist. It's like, how many fingers are pointing back at you, dreadlocks? Uh, yeah, you're the racist because up to that point when you pointed at me and said, hey, you, I was over here minding my own business. Now you're going, I'm a racist. And I hate you because you're white. So I won't be celebrating June 10th, June 19th. Well, it's a federal holiday, though. So I think all the white people that have to uh, take that holiday just do white shit all day. You know? Don't, you know, you have an old video. I saw an old video on Twitter uh, of Dan Cathy, the... CEO of uh, Chick-fil-A, which I think you ought to boycott Chick-fil-A now, who, using the Bible, I, I love these Christians and their self-righteous virtue signaling bullshit. Using uh, the Bible about, I guess, about Jesus washing the feet and all that, he went over and shined a black man's shoes, got down on his knees and shined a black I mean, really? Really, you got, I mean, there, there's a guy who really got no pride. He's just a, a woke, virtue signaling cuck. Shine your own damn shoes. 
No, I... You know, for the majority of the time, I'm ignoring it. But then sometimes, like today, I just saw a few things and I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to make a video. It, it's going to go over like a lead balloon. I've already made a video on reparations where I had a, a I guess, a, I guess it was a black woman, I don't know who it was, make a comment of, you know, I'm going to get my reparations and, and all that and uh, calling me hurt. Well, I wasn't hurt, uh, but of course, if you can try to bring me down to that and go, oh, you're hurt, that makes you feel better. And th they made a, made a comment and then must have deleted it and then came back with another comment, you know, just saying, you know, it just seems like you're hurt. It's like, you don't deserve reparations. If you were a slave, I can understand I will be like, hey, you know, if you can get them, go ahead and get them. Because I, I could see that you just were emancipated from your slavery. But the people nowadays, none of you are slaves. None of you were ever slaves. So stop bitching and whining about it. Go out there and work. It sucks. Yes, you know, I mean, it sucks. Especially if you hate your job. I hate my job and I got to work my ass off. I'm on peace rate, so I got to put in effort every second of the fucking day. I got to bust my fucking ass. And it sucks. You know, I'm 56, and I like to get out of there. I like to work at shit, and I've been trying shit, and I'm going to continue to try shit until something works. Even if I'm just making enough money that I can quit that job and go get maybe a part-time job. But I'm going to work. And I'm going to work at shit. I'm not going to ask people for fucking help unless I, I actually need help. And then it's going to be kind of like, uh, you know, I mean, you got to sometimes. Sometimes you just got to put your pride aside and ask people for help. But you people don't have any pride. You're, you're just victims. You're, I need my money. I, you know, woe is me. You're not, you're not strong. You're never going to be strong. You're weak. So, you know, fuck your pride month and fuck June 19th. Okay? You know, and that, that's pretty much it. I think I, I think I made my uh, point clear. If that's a clear point, you know, but yeah, so that's it. I'm done. And until next time, this is Dave Kramer and this is Kramer Unstuck.